Shaheen Afridi, a Pakistani cricketer who recently announced his retirement, has angered animal rights activists after tweeting a photo of a lion chained up in his home. You're watching What's Trending, I'm Anna Lori. Subscribe for more trending and social media news daily. The tweet in question reads, Great to spend time with loved ones. Best feeling in the world to have my daughter copy my wicket-taking celebrations. And yes, don't forget to take care of animals. They too deserve our love and care. Accompanying the tweet are two photos, one of Afridi bottle feeding a fawn and another of his daughter standing in front of a huge lion. Cool man. Saj Sadiq, a Pakistani sports writer, also posted a photo featuring Afridi and the animal with the caption, when the lion met a cricketing lion. Okay? It's a little, a little bit of a word salad, but not, I mean. Lion is apparently one of Afridi's nicknames in addition to Lala and Boom Boom. Those sound like incredible characters. And the photo elicited plenty of responses around the world. At Biologist Dan says, Shahid Afridi is a famous cricket player from Pakistan. He has a lion as a pet. There are only 19,000 lions left in the wild and declining rapidly, down 90% in our lifetime. Lions are meant to roam on the savanna, not in your living room. Hmm, that's cute, Dan, but we don't believe in science. At Saman Khan 7 says, I know that lions shouldn't be kept as pets, but the fact that Lala takes full care of his pets and all the animals, it's okay for him to keep a pet lion. Oh boy, I got two opinions on the ballot. What's coming up next? And at JBD doesn't care either. He tweets, I don't know why Afridi is getting hate for owning a lion. Y'all ride camels, elephants, horses, keep birds, cats, dogs, goldfish as pets, eat cows, chicken, fish. I mean, yeah, the lion is an unusual pet because you watch Lion King, but we are all on the same spectrum. Save the sanctimony. Okay, a lot to unpack there. He has a point. What we consider appropriate for domestic animals is cultural. But a lot of those things that he named have been bred into domestic animals. They're not wild animals that we've brought into the home. For instance, the cat used to be a lion for a bobcat or some I don't know. The Lion King isn't why we're mad. We're not like, oh no, he has Simba on a chain. We're like, oh no, there's an eight year old by a deadly creature. At Nivik says what we're all thinking. Why does Afridi have a lion in his house? Why? Well, we have the answer. Afridi responded to the controversy and tried to set the record straight. He wrote, the animals displayed in the pictures were brought to my house for showing it to my kids. The owner has tamed them since they were two months old and they are this big. They are totally home brought up. The person who owns them has a license as well. The fact it was chained was just to be on the safe side, but where they live is in an entirely free environment. I like how he says, the chains are just for safety. Like anybody thinks he's just chaining animals up to be cruel. Like we know the chains are for safety. That doesn't make it any less f***ed up. The point is that a wild animal should not be in a place where it needs to be chained because it should just be running around and not near little kids. That's just what it should be. You may be wondering what happens after someone who owns a lion or other exotic animal doesn't want it anymore. Tippi Hedren, star of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds and wild animal advocate has built a sanctuary in Southern California for just that. The Shambhala Reserve provides sanctuary for exotic felines and advocates for no buying, selling, breeding, or trading of the big cats. It has some famous animals, including a couple from the Neverland Ranch. Uh, remember when Michael Jackson decided that he wasn't going to come back from to that beautiful place? Uh, they had to find homes for all of the different animals, and uh, of course this was the perfect place for Sabu and Thriller. Hedren started her anti-breeding advocacy while filming the movie Roar. During production, her daughter Melanie Griffith was brutally mauled by a lion and had to get facial reconstructive surgery. Roar has been called one of the most dangerous films ever made. These pictures are fucking nuts. It's just a dude, they, they have like a couple trainers on set, but they're having actors interact with these wild animals and they had tons of them in their home. Like they had a lion that just was in their home. And then her kid got mauled and she was like, Ooh, nobody should have lions. We're not sure who the guy that brought the lion and the deer to Afridi's home is, but most animal advocate groups are pretty clear having wild animals is a bad idea. Not only are the conditions terrible for the animal, but they could pose real threats for their owners, not just through attacks, but disease as well. In fact, five US states have no laws whatsoever regarding what kinds of animals can be held as pets. Yeah, this isn't just a problem in Pakistan. According to the BBC, there may be more than twice as many tigers held captive in the United States as there are wild tigers left in the world. I want you to rewind and just watch me say that one more time.
you're watching What's Trending, I'm Anna Laurie. Subscribe for more trending and social media news daily. The tweet in question reads, Great to spend- Just kidding. <laughs> According to the BBC, there may be more than twice as many tigers held captive in the United States as there are wild tigers left in the world. And these animals aren't covered under the 1973 Endangered Species Act since they aren't poached from the wild, but instead are bred in the U.S. specifically to be sold as exotic pets. No! 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 Pamela Boych of the Texas Human Legislation Network said, Texas is a conservative state and values personal liberties and the right to keep what you want. There's sense to that, but if it's at the price of animal welfare, that is wrong. You can buy a tiger online. It's just crazy. Thank you, Pamela Boych. Accurate. Don't buy a tiger online. It's only for you. It's clearly not for the tiger. If you think the tiger wants to be with you, you're wrong. You're just, it, you're wrong. And I will, fight any tiger that says differently. What do you guys think? Should lions be left in the wild or is everybody freaking out over nothing? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more What's Trending. And be sure to head over to whatstrending.com for more stories like these. See you next time on, see you later.